Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to Patch Quest, the bullet hell monster taming roguelite that we are going to be checking out again here today. We're going to go over to get vengeance on the Mushaleum ahead of us getting, you know, a whole lot of enemy buffs to make it a much stronger dungeon because it is a it is a hefty one. It's a very long one compared to the others. It's a big kind of like a, a more secret one. Do we want um, to see better in the dark? I feel like there was some of that down there. I'm not sure. Uh, pickups from further away. Can't be snared. I feel like scavenger's a great one to take. And then I'll tell you what, let's just, whatever. Let's just take the bad idol. Why not? See better in the dark. We'll see it in action. I think there was a little bit of darkness down there. Maybe. Melee blast monster into the walls or obstacles. Produces a explosion. Harmful status ailments have no effect on you. Orbiting ring of blockades whenever you charge blast. You know, like, there's a lot of these that are pretty decent, but let's go for waterproofing. No penalty from status effects. Sounds lovely. Uh, and then let's grab Dead End Saint here. Get over here. Alright. So we have, uh, what is it? That's our space bar. We have a, like a scythe slash dash. It's got three charges. We've got that move as well. I think has, uh, yeah, the charge as well. Don't remember what our alt is. I guess I could just do it. Because it doesn't really matter. We'll get it back in the next, uh, the next fight. Zoop, zoop, zoop. Okay, we got you up here. You have a little bit of a special sticker for me. Excuse me. I don't really need to kill the other stuff. That's kind of an interesting thing about the game. You just want to go for the shiny enemies. The rest are kind of just like bonuses. Man, it, it makes such a big difference how far in the run you are for like how tough things get. I think it just starts buffing their health, like their health out of absolute control and the damage starts scaling like crazy as well. Whoop. So when you're dealing with, you know, potentially 10 on screen, that really starts to add up, man. So shortcut, scooting over there. Should I? Is there really no better way to do this, huh? There is no faster way. There's a pin there. You go down here. I guess I'll pop down. Assuming that this zone is theoretically maybe a little bit easier. This would be technically the play. It is sort of tough to use our... Uh, what is our defensive move aggressively. But it is helpful. Our dash slash there. Monsters grow stronger, but do they have to? So when do they grow... Like, when do they grow stronger? After clearing a certain amount of rooms or something? Okay, so this is just a whole lot of... Oh my! I thought that would have given me some kind of invincibility. I think we have to fight enemies as well after. No? I thought we did last time. Your charge blasts have a chance to afflict a random status effect. That's pretty cool. Oh, Mr. Turtle. Gotta watch out. He can go invincible and reflect our stuff back at us. Apparently, we don't have this. Looking for the shinies. Danger! Danger. Oh boy! Did I dodge that? Like, was that a mechanic? Mechanic dodge? It's always tricky when games have a dodge mechanic, and it's not called like evasion or something. Because you're like, no, not. I don't mean did I dodge that? I mean did the game? Just let me dodge that. 
Okay. That does a lot of damage, but it, it also brings us a little bit closer, which can go poorly. So we got to be careful with when we're using using that. Holy moly. So when it said itchy there, that was me applying the itchy, right? Must have been. Because I should be invincible to... How long is this place? What the hell? What is going on, man? I take it back about it being only the late stuff in the run. This is absurd. This is so early. Just using that to get out for the right. No, time being. Womp. Apparently, uh, back at the home base, there's like a little crown that explains um, the highest tier version of every monster you caught. So we could try and, you know, look into catching all of the goals that we can find. Should we swap to white rifle? I guess so. Oh, that's right. We've got a new move. Anything shiny? Nope. Alright. Freaking turtle. Freaking turtle part two. You've got to be kidding me on that one. You want to die someday, you son of a gun? I don't know. I feel like... Is, is health only tied to... How late in the run you are? I'm not sure. For enemies? I think it it might be a mixture of zone and how many rooms you've cleared. I could be wrong. Some blaster shots have the effect of two of your shots. Sounds great. Sorry about that. Got to head open the window. It's getting hot in here. For the winter. So which thing? Neither of those had anything to do with that. Oh, we can eat our... Huh. Okay. Feeling risky? Uh, not really. Don't have that much health. Maybe I'll come back for that. We still have to clear a lot. Like, a lot. Zoop. Not too worried about a lot of this stuff, but... Sure. So when do we get our... Our super back. It said once per fight. Maybe it's like once every one of those um, those bigger rooms. You know, the ones where you have to do ah, multiple waves of stuff. Okay, I give up. I give up. There's no reason to be here. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Crunch, crunch, crunch. It looks like it's healing us, but it doesn't. Whenever you reload, get some allied critters. Automatically melee anything that touches you. Entering terrain, your mount resists, will make you invisible. Eh. Guess we'll do a little bit of that. Maybe I ought to make a, a smoothie or something. So yeah, we got our, our effect back. Our dash is quite slow, so we need to really use it more preemptively than anything. Oh boy. Work. Yeah. Scoot forward a little bit here. Do probably another. Yeah, I was going to say probably another fight, I'd imagine. This one is rough because we have all this stuff around the outside. This is not going to be good. 
This is not going to be good at all. Oh, he's invincible. How many enemies have invincibility, for God's sake? How many enemies in this game did you give invincibility to? It's absurd. Okay. Wow. No good, no good, no good. Gonna back the hell up. Gotta be careful, this guy has invincibility. Yep, there it is. Invincibility. Okay. So that gives us a little bit more time. I feel like maybe I want to swap to... I mean, it's an altar, I guess, so it's fine here. Do you seek blasting? Yes! All in on blasting, please. Uh, we got that. We're going to want probably a different pet. I feel like this one's pretty good. Whoop. Logical echo out here. Get a refresher. So we have that. We have a bubble. Yeah, that's right. The bubble is super good. All right. Yeah, I like this one. But yeah, get it because we get a dash and we get invincibility. Yeah, enemies still have like a lot of health considering we just boosted our blasting up to smithereens, you know? We got a lot of health. Alright, did I I feel like I might have missed a shiny thing in the the midst of that? Certainly did. <laughs> Why not? Adore the bubble. Stamina drops give a bit of health. Health drops give a bit of stamina. Blaster reloads much faster. Harmful ailments are applied to your... Uh, I'll do this. Lots of melee blast there. Like a lot. Is it because like the bubble means I am technically touching the enemies, but I am invincible? I don't know, it seems really good. It's amazing what an actually good pet will do. I do think this one is quite strong. So that would have given us health, I guess. Oh boy, going to the dungeon with 10 health. It's certainly one way to do it. But the thing is, if I go longer, guess what? It just means that it's gonna be tougher. Something. Ooh, boy. We do want to get their goodies, though. Definitely feeling ooh, noticeably stronger. Snag that. Swap down there, and let's go die. 
Let's go die in the mausoleum. We only got like two boosts to difficulty, but I don't think we could have really done it uh, a different way. Danger. Danger! Oh my, that's right. The immediate chaos. So we kind of want to be going just around the outside. Alright. Use the ult, I think. Slippery. I so, so there's some status effects on some random things around here. That we are completely immune to. So that's really helpful. Alright. This is certainly feeling much better than last time. There is a, uh, a shiny. Uh-oh. Uh, excuse me. There's a shiny thing. Not that it really matters here. Oh, you... No. We have damage resist on, too, for what it's worth. We just want to use our basic ammo. Can even like pop these mushrooms to give us some extra shots. They seem to have like a homing effect to them. All right, now we now we go for it. Ooh. Melee blast, perhaps. You. Are going absolutely crazy. Stop. We lost our pet. No, it was such a good one, too. And we can't wait, we can't call pets in here, can we? Pretty sure we can't call pets. There's no pets in here. Oh no. Alright. Well, the cool thing is this is a gold one, so it's also gonna help us with uh our book. It also means we don't have to kill it. However, we also don't have moves. Leap forward with a dazzling burst of light that clears nearby shots. Ooh, that's pretty good. That's pretty darn good. The cooldown is hefty. And I guess if we're dashing away from it, it's... I'm, I'm actually stuck. Oh my goodness. If we're dashing away from it, it doesn't matter quite as much. Okay, we can grab that. There we go. All right, so we have to kill everything here. Another enemy with invincibility. Back it up, back it up, back it up. Okay. Ooh, should I probably catch one of these? Well, I could still come back. Like, I could literally just backtrack a sec and go for one of those, I think. Concentration of spores keeps increasing. Nah. I guess the dungeons flow a little bit differently. Don't really want to go for a smoothie out of that. Don't have a whole lot. It's a shiny snort, or it's just, it's not a shiny, it's just a different version of him. Okay. I could catch that guy if I wanted. Okay. I, truthfully, this is probably the place to use this, because this is absolute chaos. Use our smoothie or whatever. Okay, am I not, am I supposed to just not attack it? Well, it's falling asleep or or what eh, no it doesn't matter it, it it just enrages no matter what after a little bit this is fine huh and then they slap a guy right on me there oh okay no it totally is that way but I just got unlucky. He, I think it's just that he sleeps at a certain health threshold, and then you're out of luck. 
if you attack him then. It's pretty easy piece, honestly. Okay, just don't do the big one again. That one was the one I was scared about, but we're good. So, snort a set. It's, it's different than our other one. It, it, in fact, it's so different that it's not... Yeah, it's a completely different name. And it's not even in here. Okay, well that... Seems... Really important to maybe send back home then. Right? If you're kind of like a... Oop, like a big boss monster. That can complete our... Dungeon tile... Move faster in mud terrain and you're immune to sticky. So, like, I kind of want to use him just to see if he's, like, much stronger for whatever reason. Mmm, another teleporter. Monsters grow calmer. Hmm. It's interesting that we don't get like a one of those fast travel things. Because part of me wants to full clear the rest of that little jungle spot. Is there... Do we get one here? No, we don't. So we do have to legit backtrack if we want to go up here. I mean, the thing is, this probably takes us to... Okay, so this and this both lead us to this entire section of the map, which I would say is probably a for later thing. Uh, but let's go... So you leave the mushroom, but I think that this guy always, always does that, right? Okay, it's so noticeable, the monster's growing calmer. Yeah. Like, I still cannot get through there. Easy. And free. It doesn't really matter. We get no impact from it, which is so strong. That's... It's a much bigger modifier than you'd probably think about. Do you actually have health right now? Yeah, you're actually vulnerable. Oh, I was gonna say that seemed a little bit too easy. Uh oh. I was out of my dodge. So they keep on splitting. Can't be slowed down by hazardous terrain. That's cool. So there we go. We, we've cleared... I just wanted to clear out that little section. I guess now what? <laughs> now what? We could just straight up go home and then explore elsewhere. There's nothing wrong with that, I guess. We could just do two... Let's do that. Let's just do two smaller outings. I... You should go back to camp regardless, but let's see. Is there one more person I can take, like, take home that I haven't taken home? I'm pretty sure I have one of you. Pretty confident I do. Oh, God. I took one that has a crown. Uh-oh. Gotta wait for that to go away. Oh, boy. Do I not have one of those? Huh. Cool. Just figured I might as well bring another one back. And then we'll go out and we'll go out in a different direction. It was a smaller outing, but like the amount of backtracking I would do would really increase things in a gnarly way. For just exploring normally. 
Uh, melee hostile plant to extract a powerful weapon. I mean, that sounds fun. Firing at a monster makes them move and act slower. That is so important, I think. I really think that's going to be a huge thing. <clears throat> All right. Let me get the old Patreon names up. Welcome aboard, Tyrahis. The Snortacept there, our boss monster. Okay, I thought that we had only one. Okay, I thought we had one already. So, we're obviously going to keep Ashpinator. Well, I mean... I guess I did it in reverse, but I want to keep Ashpinator, so... The, the thing is, in the future, I will probably collect um, golden pets. And I, when I bring them back, I'll just rename the ones that, you know, they're kind of overwriting, if that makes sense. Boop, boop. So we can finally get this dungeon one. People thought that this is a dungeon thing. It's not. Uh, this one should be. Boop, there's a dungeon tile. Good deal. I wonder if the uh, Snorticeps is a fan of that. So, first of all, let's say... So, we use Dead End Saint. Uh, we use Logical Echo. I'll tell you what. We'll bring in... I guess we'll bring in Bearded Wonder. I feel like if we have one of these, we don't need the second one. So, Brad can sit out. Brad's also been used a bit. So, we'll bring in Ashpinator, I think, for that. All right, now let's embark. So where are we going to go? Because uh, the thing is, I did not fully clear this section, but we'll we'll go back up and we will do that in the future when we inevitably uh, go to this zone. Assuming you guys continue to support the series with likes, comments, all that stuff. Assuming that. Uh, and it is an assumption. Okay, so to get here, we have to go through Whirlpool land. I feel like, nah. Uh, I'm looking for, like, a clean shot. So we could go boom, bang, jump, bang. We could do a little bit of that. I think that could work. How do I get here? Maybe underwater? Yeah, underwater can bring us there. Alternatively, I bet you there's a path over here. Volcanic zone. You know what? Actually, let's go to the volcanic zone. That's a really quick... Uh, path. All things considered, that's quite fast. Uh, move faster in mud. How much mud is there truly gonna be there? I feel like these two are just the no-brainers for right now. Pickup range not as useful in this. What we got here? Dismount monsters, become ally for a while. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. This one's just so good. But yeah, let's get uh, let's get this boss monster. It has the same move set like already uh, figured out. So I don't know what's up there. Like it's probably just a stronger version, right? I got one of these. Sand dial guys. I don't want to abandon my mount already, but we don't have one of those. So it's very worth getting. Get out of my swamp! Oh my word. Man, it is so much easier in the in the beginning, it's not even funny. Oh, wait. We get knocked back off of those? That's actually going to be really awkward. That's why I like the dashes and the, uh, you know, blinks a lot more on average. Can we do this and then go through after? And then also still have our zoop zap zowie? Nah, we don't. Uh, there's a shiny thing here. Not that it really matters. I will say, 
Oh, that's an explosive. Okay. I would think that this pet would be strong, but then I guess it's like, well, wouldn't you just always use it then? There's mud here. We could have gotten that mud buff. I may just end up going down south anyways to get that tree buff. All right, volcanic zone. What could go wrong? Swirling mass of magma, probably searching for a way to the surface. What the hell? This looks like a uh, like a frost monster. Why is it in the volcano zone? You're gonna melt, my guy. Lunar eclipse, fearless. Lunge. When frozen, you have increased speed instead of decreased. Deal a lot more damage to angry monsters. Yeah. Some fine stuff. I'm not gonna go all the way back just to get that uh, teleporter thing or the uh, the shiny. It just doesn't, you know, if somebody knows what they do, because as of right now, it kind of just seems like they don't do anything extra. But they they probably do. They must, right? Certainly. Yep. Wow! Not bad. Not bad at all. Polar breath. Yeah, what the hell are you doing in this zone? How are you not melting, my guy? Oh. Rock block shot. Got a little dodo creature. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm going to keep on swapping until I get somebody who's immune to, like, magma or something. Steagle. Lunge forward. If you hit a monster, you'll steal its attack skills? The hell? Is he shiny? Nope. Melee blast. Increase your charge blast meter. Sounds great. Oops. Oh, I meant to... Didn't mean to do it that way. So where to? We could try and open up this door. Is the implication of that those borders that it has like a type of terrain that harms you? Okay, I also know that the alligator has the buff, but I kind of want to use some new ones. Okay, this is a really good pet to uh, to level up from nothing. So we just get to steal the moves. This is okay. This is a really cool one. It's a little bit nuts. It's gonna be impossible to process. Blackout, close range sleep causing kung fu strike. So the question is, if we have like a different set of uh, cooldowns for their moves versus ours. Oh, boy. Them health pools are getting naughty. There was a different kind of uh, lionman. Interesting. Do you seek blasting? Always. I don't think we... Oop, what? I don't think we have one of these. Okay, it looks like it does have um, separate cooldowns. Which is pretty silly. And very, very good. I if you are able to utilize it without having your brain rip in half, it is very, very good. Oh, I missed. Because you have to first, you have to properly dodge in with the attack. 
and not miss. Then you gotta quickly process what kind of attacks they might have. Sort of. Smoke screen. Cool. Catch one? I thought I caught one. Hey -oh. So then we get our own, and then we dash right through somebody, and then we do theirs. Wild. I really like him. Oh, I really like this guy, but I'm going to snag the gold guy. And I'm going to immediately send him to the camp. Immediately. So I don't, like, forget. Ooh. Uh. You get over here, please. No! <laughs> they went through the tunnel. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Snap. Yeah, cause gotta actually hit with that dash. Couple special upgrades here. Boom, 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 boom. I don't know, maybe... Maybe there's like a set zone setup that's supposed to be a lot easier than others. Because this is so much easier than the other zone was. Weapon cache. Fire charge blast of each of your ammo fruits. Ooh. Each of your ammo fruits. Pretty cool. Blaster up. Is this a plant achievement? Plant a rock pin. I'm surprised this works. Ooh. Okay, I like that ult. I'm actually really enjoying this pet. It's the highest skill cap pet, probably. To use it effectively, you probably, you know, need to quickly know everybody's moveset. To use it like really well. Whoop. But yeah, it's the fact that I kind of get like two sets of cooldowns, you know what I'm saying? Boom, boom, dash, boom, boom. See, look at how many moves I just get to ca I just get, you know, get to cast in a row. I feel like if you went for a riding buff run, this could be really good. I think it's one of the stronger pets. Whoop. Blast, blast, dash, blast, blast. See? The buttons per second is absolutely amazing. All right. I don't think we have one of those. That thing's new. Freeze proof rear shield. Retreat into your shell, reflect any shots you touch. Damage taken from behind is greatly reduced. That's cool. Do kind of want to grab another one. So that I can just bring him home. Monster grows stronger. I'm really a fan of the, uh, oh man, the ice music. Oh, I thought that was from me. I thought I touched it and activated it. Icicles, great. Crystal zone. Ominous. Danger. Team Ruby.
Uh, I feel like I'm moving a lot slower. Oh, like, I know I have the, um, that passive that makes my shots bigger, but I move slower. But I feel like I'm moving slower than I was, to be clear. What? Charge Blash, homing on monsters. We got the crystal wall. I'm really liking this guy, too. Oh, we got a relic. When you have an ailment, your ammo fruit shots gain that ailment. Right. Nothing wrong there. Got like a mirror? Ooh, that almost seemed like a speedrun tech. Seemed like we got some kind of a speed boost. I don't think that's actually true. Yeah, I'm not big on this guy. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why it would be relevant. But yeah, wait, am I wrong? Wait, am I crazy? It seems like we have a, some kind of a speed boost. Wait, what? I was joking. Is that actually a, some kind of tech? AKA a bug? Lay a crystal egg. When the egg is shot, it re releases a reflective rainbow explosion. That's pretty cool. I hate when you immediate you walk over and you're immediately on something else. <laughs> kind of just want to go open that door, so like that's kind of just the main thing on my mind here. Oh, what the hell? Hello. I really liked that mole. <laughs> yeah, that's, that makes sense. That makes sense. Oh, I'm glad we get one freebie. Mail blast clear hostile shots. When you swip, 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 swap your equipped ammo, you get five powerful shots. Reload faster. Sounds great. New little sheep thing. Oh, it died? Oh my god. Wheel shield. Shield that blocks shots and. Okay. Protects you. Cool, cool, cool. I'll come back for that other thing. Whoop. Yeah, out of there. I know sometimes if you plant a, a fruit or whatever, it like you get immediately put into like a combat. We have freeze proof and rear shield, but it, for whatever reason, it feels like we have that. When a monster damages you, it takes several times damage in return. Uh, I gotta say that homing power is nuts. That seems to be one of the craziest upgrades we've had. Okay, doors open. That helps. That'll help for uh, getting back here later. So what do we do for now? This is probably not a dungeon. It's probably a... Yeah, maybe it is. Who knows? I, I did what I wanted to do. I got, got stuck there. And now I'm poisoned, I think. Yep. God, I hate the poison. Just makes you feel like you're getting hit over and over and over. 
but it's just the poison ticking down. Thought I had iframes. Oh my god, okay. Wait, okay. Damage all of a sudden is uh, pretty out of whack. Just walking into a couple bullets and we uh, are in hell all of a sudden. Charge four is immune to damage, collide with monsters and send them flying. I mean, I do intend to just head back. Okay, door open. Oh boy, okay, so if you hit an enemy, you knock them back, but more importantly, you also get frozen in place there. Oh, okay. It is awkward. It it collides with anything. You can hold it down for it to last longer, but it, yeah, but it also collides with literally anything and everything. Yeah, this could be uh, this could be a death spot of some sort. Shake down Tari blobs. Max HP. Yeah, I want to know what's there basically before I feel ooh. Wait, did I already... Is the one I got... Oh my god. I think the one I got was... Was a gold. It was. Okay, you can only bring three home. It's chaos. Uh, god damn stupid bounce! I, I, it's awkward. It's really awkward. I thought I liked it. I don't know if I do. Down on your luck? Well, at this point, I don't really mind trading some of this stuff for, for health, right? If I'm just going to be heading out of here. Oh, it does loop around still. Oh boy. It's like just absolute required damage. That's interesting to see. Scoot, scoot, doot. Okay, we can get that lore stone. See what's up there. Chisel away at the mountainside of Vulcanasia, claiming its warmth to heat our bathhouses and tile floors. Right. <laughs> okay, so up there is, I guess, the shrine. Oh my god. Oh my god, they're trapping me. Because, again, like, when you hit the enemy, you bounce back off, so we just bounce right back into lava. So if we can't bring home anymore, I guess we don't really need to worry about collecting... The snail guy. Okay. Um. So that just started pushing me up. Oh my word. So that's a way you can get over the lava without taking damage, but it's honestly not that safe. Okay. Level up. What do we got? Twin drill. A forking drill. Uh oh. We're already maxed out on uh, 
blasting. You can try and... The reflections. The reflections. We can try and kill these for health back or something, but, you know. Excuse me? Got a shiny. Eh. This isn't gonna go well, but let's... Let, we might as well go in and die at this point. Then just head back. Because as far as I'm aware, you don't really lose anything. Proceed only on foot. Oh, that's not good. Well, that's not good at all. Oh, those hurt you. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah, that's... That's so mean. That is so mean. Here you go. Go in here. Don't have a pet. Here's four guys. Here's a full room of traps. That's so mean. Oh, well. I would love to get the rank 10. Of course not. I really would like to get the thing that uh, slows down... Uh, I think it's abilities and movement of monsters when you shoot them. I think that'd be great. Alright, I'll be right back with some Patreon names. Welcome aboard, ZMB. Thank you for the support on Patreon. We've also got... Evan Orenberg. Thank you for the support on Patreon as well. One more... Lily Ooh La La. Welcome aboard. There's quite a lot of stuff ready there. So many different habitats packed on this island. It's possible that the Retro Nation once was many islands? Perhaps. We have half of the pets? That sounds wrong. I guess we do. Dang. That seems incorrect. But apparently, apparently not. 27% of the pins. This is probably the best source of actually figuring out what is our true progress. So our true progress is that we're 25% done. Holy moly. I mean, so we'll go and we'll clean up that tomorrow and then we'll see what's up afterwards probably. Assuming, you know. Again, assuming support on the, the, the videos, everything like that. It'll continue if people show a, a decent amount of appreciation via likes, comments, all this stuff. The algorithm cares about it a lot. It's obviously, you know, as I've said, it's been not doing fantastic, so, you know, we kind of... It's my job. I got to manage things appropriately. Uh, but, you know, if you guys show support, we'll continue. That, it's simple as that. But, alas, alas, that is that. That's going to do it here for today. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel. Rogue likes some more every single day. Oh, that's not one of the things from that zone. Oh, well. Crystal zone. Ooh. Hive zone. I guess that's a quick way to figure out where things should be. Doesn't really matter. This is hill zone, not even desert. Yeah. All right. But yeah, last, last, that's that. It's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel. Roguelist more every single day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.